Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Breaking news. Jussie has been released from jail. Uh, so for those of y'all who don't like it, tough. Tough, 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 tough. Like I said, it ain't so much that that I don't think that he should have been doing probation. But to put that man in jail for all that time and then talking about, well, he shouldn't have lied. Well, he shouldn't have lied. Well, let me tell y'all, these people lie every day. And they lie to us. They lie to everybody. And all we got to do and all we can do is take it. And we're pretty much, it seems to me that we've gotten um, used to bad treatment. And we must love it because, like I said before, it seems like we're our own worst critics. We're the worst ones. How in the world can Kim Fox, again, exonerate that man as her de- F per her discretion as a prosecutor? She decided she did not want to prosecute it. She'd rather put him on probation. She'd rather not stick him in jail for um, seven or eight months. But guess what? Somebody wicked decided, hey, I don't care. I don't care. Uh Uh-uh. No. uh Uh-uh. I want him in jail. Because if you ask me, as far as the judge got the nerve to talk about narcissism and all that, well, why don't you indict the whole country? And that does not mean I'm making excuses for Jesse. I want y'all to understand that. But I want you to also see the ramifications behind what these people try to do to this man. Anyway, disgraced Empire actor Jesse Smollett will be released from jail after just six days behind bars. Judges ruled that he should go free while his lawyers work on his appeal conviction on five felony counts of lying to police about a racist homophobic attack, which was totally insane. He will be released on a $150,000 personal recognizance bond. Smollett, who has been serving time in psychiatric care, was sentenced to his 150 days behind bars. So, um... They decided to allow him to come out while they work on his appeal. Um, and you know, hey, if 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 that's what they want to do, and if that kicks into more of a seventy-five days, then all be it. Oh, I'm all for it because what I want as you know, as as a um, uh, 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 free and thinking people. I want you to understand that in my opinion, in my humble opinion, we cannot keep putting people in positions and think we've we've grown and then have their decisions undermined by the outward dominant society. Where does how does that work? And we can't get complacent with that. It's a fight every gen, every day. Every generation got to pay its price. Not just us and the ones before us and the ones before them. Y'all got to pay y'all's too. You got to keep on this. That's the way it go for us. Unfortunately, we have to fight for the right to survive every single day. And I'm, again, I'm not, exon- I'm not saying what Jesse did. <laughs> It was pure crazy, okay? If you ask me, it was a bit much, overkill, and I don't know why you needed some attention that bad. But at the end of the day, I want you to know that the district attorney, Kim Fox, had a decision to make, and she made it. And they tried to come down, and they did undermine her decisions which I think was a total miscarriage of justice. So Jesse would be out and, um, and he's going to be out during his appeal. So which cuts into the time, um, any way he can get out. Cause they ain't going to never want to admit they wrong. You already know that. I don't give a damn what they do and what you do. 
They can come accuse you of all kinds of stuff. And then they can find out that you didn't do anything. Don't think they're going to come back and apologize because they're not. They're going to just let it ride. So good luck to you, Jesse. And stay your ass out of trouble. I'm sure nobody got to tell you that, though. Anyway, I want to hear y'all opinion. What y'all think about it?